What's up YouTube, Engineer Jules here, and today we're gonna to be doing some Fusion 360 action. What we have here is a beautifully designed solar panel mount all wired up in series ready to be connected on any sunlit corner of your house and plugged into whatever project you're trying to power. So this project is fairly simple to design and that's why I figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and make a Fusion 360 tutorial out of this so that you guys can learn how to make simple projects like this and then of course in the future make even more complex but i remember my first time using fusion 360 and man was it hard it was painful trying to learn to navigate through that software of course you guys are doing the same thing i did i went on youtube and gobbled up as much information as i could hopefully uh, my way of explaining it is different and maybe easier for you guys to understand. So let's go ahead and jump straight into Fusion 360. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and create a new project. And once you do that, let's just name it uh, Solar Panel Tutorial. So over here we're gonna go ahead and just save Forex Solar Panel solar plane tutorial that's the folder is going to be at uh, we can go ahead and exit out of that and now we have the full window to work with we're going to make this as simple as possible for this project maybe later on we'll get into more complicated things and you guys will be able to learn a little bit more but for today um we're going to start simple the first thing you want to do with fusion 360 is kind of sketch Everything is derived from a sketch. Once you sketch it, you can go ahead and uh, start playing with the dimensions of it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, we know we're gonna want a solar panel. First thing you wanna do is go right here where it says create sketch. Once you click on that, you wanna pick a dimension. Uh, usually I just start with the horizontal dimension. That's the one I'm gonna go with. So once you do that, uh, I try to get a good view of it. So you want to go ahead and click on that top view and there you go. Now you're uh, perpendicular to the horizontal plane. It's going to be a square. So let's go ahead and make a two point rectangle. Uh, I already know that the solar panel is a 60 by 80 and I already know that I want two millimeters of wiggle room on each side and I know that each rail and the edges are gonna be at least three millimeters thick. You know that the solar panel is gonna be one big rectangle, right? Or it's gonna be two by two in terms of two rows of solar panels and each row has two solar panels. We're gonna do a rough sketch of the drawing. So here we have one solar panel hole. Here we have another solar panel hole. Here we have another one and another one. And you guys can see, it kind of looks like what we want, right? I also want some mounting brackets or, you know, some something where I can stick a screw to so I can mount it onto maybe like a plate or a stand or a leg or something. So I'm just gonna use a circle because I don't know, I kind of dig the circle uh, plate idea. So you go down this line right here and when you see that triangle X combination, that is Fusion 360 telling you that you are right at the center of that box. So, or of that line. So just go ahead and click on that, figure out the diameter. I'm going to pick a 30 millimeter diameter for this one. And I'm going to draw a line right here and I'll show you why in a second. So the line goes from the center of the circle to the outer uh, to like the top of the circle. And the reason I did that is because, remember how I told you Fusion 360 shows you where the middle of a line is? Well, I want my mount to be right in the middle of this half circle. And that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna make that a 10 millimeter diameter. Okay, maybe five millimeter. And if I want it bigger, I can just drill it out a little bit bigger. But at least I have a pilot hole right there. So five millimeter, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the bottom. So right here, let's go ahead and make another circle. Let's go look for that center. 
There we go, we're at that center. It's gonna snap right on. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go back to the solar cells. So the solar cells right here are still looking rough, but we're gonna fix that. You, know, you wanna go ahead and click on this right here where it says sketch dimension. You're pretty much constraining your sketch. I don't know how to really word this right here. It's kind of a mouthful. So I'm just gonna say that this sketch dimension is going to allow you to fix your rough sketch into something that you definitely know you want, into a measurable quantity or into a measurable whatever. So I know I want the rails to be three millimeters, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that way, if each solar cell hole gets bigger or smaller, the whole thing is gonna grow as, as that grows. Now we have the outer rails at three millimeters. I also want the inner rails at three millimeters, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Three millimeters from here to here, okay. Now that we have these constraints, we're telling the program that regardless of the sizes of these little square holes that we're gonna have here, we want these parameters to stay true all the time. So regardless of how big I make this, it's always gonna be three millimeters on the edge of these. Um, these rails are always gonna be three millimeters, all right? So let's go watch some magic happen now. Um, we said we wanted it 84 by 64, so here we go. 84 and voila now we see that this just got bigger but this constraints are keeping these other dimensions intact so it's making it a lot easier for us now 64 it was the other dimension and now i just i'm just gonna make sure that all the other uh holes or solar solar panel holes are gonna have that those same dimensions so as you guys can see it's starting to look like the mount that we want it to have. This one, by default, you don't really need to do it because this constraint is kind of, other other constraints are kind of making all these constraints, all the constraint on this one be what I want it to be. But I'm just gonna have the measurements anyways, and that's okay. We just want to see that number. So we feel good in our tummies that this is what exactly what we want. Editor Jules here. For some reason, my screen recording program wasn't capturing any of the windows that were popping up or in fact, some of the peripherals. I don't know why, it's just, I tried different softwares and none of them worked. So I'm just gonna show you guys manually real quick. So the first thing I wanna show you guys right here is this little drop down. The important thing about this is that you can go and hide certain things. Like for example, your bodies. If you have multiple bodies, you'd be able to hide individual bodies at one time where you can hide all of them you can also uh go right here where it says sketches and you can hide uh or show different sketches that you've worked on throughout the project and then the other thing i want to show you guys is uh right here when you go to extrude you're gonna get a pop-up menu right here which you won't be able to see on my video that i was making a couple of things that you're gonna hear me say is join or cut that means join means you're gonna add to the body that you have currently existing. This will be example of joining. It's just gonna add to it. And then cut, you're gonna be subtracting away from this. So right here, if you guys see me do a cut, I would in fact be cutting away from the body right there. Back to the video. All right, so at this point, we can go ahead and make an extrusion, which means we're gonna be able to make this two dimensional sketch into a three dimensional piece. The trick to extruding is you want to pick uh, the right parts of your shape so right here you see how we clicked on that semicircle but not the center that's because we don't want to extrude that we want to leave that as a whole and i'm gonna extrude the bottom first so that means that i'm gonna go ahead and grab everything that I see here. And I think I'm gonna go with negative three, negative three millimeters of bottom. Now we, we don't even know what we're looking at, right? So you wanna go down here to sketches and go ahead and turn on that sketch. So I'm gonna go to click on that, click on this T right here, and I'm gonna click on this T right here. Now our solar cells are three millimeters in depth or three millimeters high, if you wanna look at it that way. So we don't wanna make it higher just in case some sun angles don't catch it right. So we're gonna keep it at three as well. And we're gonna go ahead and do that, three millimeters. 
and we want to make sure it hits join so that way it's just part of the same body that we've been working on beautiful now we can see that we have something if if not already what we have something close to what we want uh however there's one thing missing we don't have anywhere for wiring these are the things that you have to think about when you're making some of your electronic designs. Where are the wires going to come from? Where are they going to go through? So I have a simple solution for this. What I like to do sometimes, I just like to go back to that original sketch and I like to turn off the body. So I'm not looking at the body anymore. I'm just looking at that original sketch. You want to go ahead and click on that same surface that you've been working on the whole time. Go ahead and go back to that two point rectangle and then make a line just like that. And also another one right here for the bottom cell, just like that. And again, your constraints so how thick do you want this to be i want this to be did i say eight i think i said eight let's go ahead and leave it at eight and this one i want it to be eight all right good and now we want to make sure it's in the center it needs to be 38 millimeters from here to make it even with the bottom there we go and then you want to do the same thing for the bottom because it's all the same so 38 millimeters and now you can assure yourself that from here to here, you're also going to have the same measurement, 38 millimeters. There you go. So now that you have finished that little sketch right there, you want to go ahead and finish it. Uh, you're going to try to hide your old sketch. That way, when you're going to extrude, you can easily just pick on the ones you want. You're going to go negative three and it's going to be a cut. So bam. And there we go. Now we know that this is where the wiring is going to come from behind the cell. And you can even uh, continue through. You can hide the wires on this little part right here. And you, you should be able to work on it from the back. So even if you need to uh, re-solder or und undo some soldering, you can just work on it from the back a little bit without having to take it off, possibly ungluing all that stuff. So that is about all I have for you guys today. If you like this video or if you got any value out of it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my style of content, please consider giving me a subscribe. And um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what kind of videos I should be making next, don't forget to write that down in the comment section below. And other than that, um, hope you guys have a great one and I will see you guys next time. Peace.